and uh, I don't know what happens. Let's just try clicking on one of these ones scheduled in the future. All right, News Express. I have no idea what that is. All right, so my options are it brings up a timer screen. So when you select a show in the in the search results, it'll bring up a timers field, and my options are to create, edit, or delete timer event. So let's try creating one. And the option is to alert me Monday through Friday, weekly, daily, or once. And then over here, it's already got highlighted the channel and that it will tune and it's set to auto tune. So basically, you can set it to, I assume, flash a notice on the screen. Hey, so-and-so show is about to start. I'm going to flip the channel. Or do you want to go there? Um, and I don't know exactly how that works. But it's probably pretty basic like that, like the old school uh, set-top box alerts. All right, and then when you go to the next screen, it has the, the details of the timer up so you can confirm or adjust. Um, all right, so I don't think it will actually ask you confirmation. It may just move over there because it's got a very specific start time. Uh, but I could be wrong. And I assume this is the sort of technology that's also going to go into the higher-end version of this box that has DVR capabilities. Formerly the TR50. I don't know what that is going to be branded eventually or finally. All right, so now there's a timer conflict. Um, I must have adjusted something while I was talking. So we can delete one of them or the other and this is pretty cool to have some conflict management in here. Of course the functionality is basic. It's not going to record the show for you. It's just going to change the channel. But it's still kind of cool to have. Why not? Alright, so now it dropped us into the setup screen we got closed caption timers where we just were audio setup Let's see what options we have audio language alternative and primary stereo and mono Let's see what's in system setup installation I assume is what we already did channel setup Let's see what inactivity standby is maybe there's a screensaver Enable this feature to automatically put the converter in standby after a period of inactivity. So again, so maybe it's not a screensaver. Maybe it just kind of puts the whole thing to sleep. Uh, and the default was four hours. Yeah, it's four, five, six, seven, or eight hours are your options. So it's not like a screensaver you can flip on after ten minutes. System information. I think we saw that screen. Pretty boring. Ah, TV Guide and Guide Plus. Maybe this will give us some clues on where the, the data is coming from. So what it's going to do is, I guess there's some metadata that's coming along with the guide. And by by flipping the, the bit on this, um, the timers break, apparently. The standby breaks and the parental locks break so I'm not sure what it gives you um, in exchange so maybe there's two sources of data that this box can pull from and if you use the default all the DTV PAL features are enabled if you use the TV guide guide plus data uh, the DTV PAL can't read the metadata that comes with it and do anything with it all right confirmation all DTV PAL digital features will be disabled and the box will reboot it's pretty frightening. All right, let's see what happens. For such a small box, it's taking longer than I expected to reboot. The box is tiny. It's about the size of a of a VHS tape. Probably actually even a little shorter than a VHS tape, about the same width. All right, so the box is rebooted. Um, I don't know if anything has changed or not. Let's pull up the guide. 
Now they will be enabled. All right, so if I pull up the guide, hmm. All right, so basically I have no idea what we're doing or what any of this means, and I'll have to read the manual at some point. Uh, so we're going to reboot it again. Anyhow, I think this pretty much covers the basic, and now that I'm looking a little closer, I do see a page down and page up uh, scrolling feature. Analog pass-through button up here. Mute, channel recall, and uh, most of the buttons are, are pretty typical what you'd expect. Let's just cancel this for now. Well, all right, it wants to come back. So there you have it, the initial setup and Dave fumbling through the DTV pal. It, uh, as far as reception, it looks like all my channels came in, all my locals. Uh, I saw Fox, CBS, and ABC, and uh, the higher number channels, which are the PBSs and uh, some of the international stuff. Actually, now that I think about it, I didn't see NBC, so let's wait for this to reboot one more time. We'll verify NBC is here, or we'll see if we can adjust the antenna. Now uh, we got to download all our guy data. Quick, 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 quick. So that was pretty quick. That was probably three seconds, four seconds. Um, which is pretty reasonable. All right, let's see if we get channel four. So we actually don't have channel four in here, which is NBC, so it hasn't picked it up. And that may be the box, it may be the antenna, um, or it just may be, you know, where I'm located. I don't normally use an antenna. So let's go and see if I can add a channel. So I'm going to go to channel setup here, find new channels, or add a new channel, let's do that. So this would be channel 4. So i got to manually click this 20 more times. And we may have to adjust the antenna. I assume there are people who do want to watch NBC in my region. Although the NBC local news is not high def, so maybe you don't want to watch it. All right, so I've put channel four in there, and now maybe I'll put scan in. And at the bottom right, it says signal strength zero. So I'm just going to twist that antenna. pieces of the antenna and see if we can find NBC. Please NBC, please. And the channel may not actually be four, it may be one of its, you know, crazy derivatives, although it's got the frequency, so it may know where to look. Alright, let's move the antenna a little further over here. Try again. All right, so it's not picking up NBC. It probably requires more futzing of the antenna. Just as an FYI, I set this up in my bedroom near the window uh, to improve our odds of pulling over the air signals. And again, it may be my location, maybe the antenna. I don't know that it's the box I don't use over the air, so I'm not sure what to expect as far as reception. So let's just go back to live TV and, and hope that NBC is out there somewhere. There you have it, DTV pal. Dave Zatz, Zatz not funny.